I've had quite a few Eastern mentors. In fact, I rediscovered uh, the Christian tradition in a Hindu monastery. Most of my mentors have been either Hindu or Sufi, and not necessarily Buddhist. When I think about, especially in terms of working with young people, and when I think about spirituality, I think about three levels that are needed in whatever our approach is to spiritual life. The first one is therapeutic. Practices that can kind of help us to deal with our emotions, with our reactivity, with all that kind of messy stuff in our lives. And as we look into that, uh, we realize that some of those things are messengers that we were not really designed for the kind of a world that we live in. A world of injustice, but also a world where people from far away are expected to be able to get in touch with us at any moment where we need to be connected all the time in our nervous systems. So the therapeutic then leads to the activist where we then kind of see actually some things around us need to be changed. Some systems need to be changed. And then the last one is the piece about the supernatural or cosmological or mystical that it's not necessarily enough to just kind of deal with the therapeutic or even with changing the world, that we need to be grounded in a vision where we are held by a reality that gives us courage, that gives us life, that gives us a very specific purpose in how we are to do our lives, right? And so Christianity versus Buddhism. <laughs> I think Buddhism is amazing and much better than Christianity when it comes to the therapeutic. Uh, Christianity actually doesn't have many practices or even trainings uh, as to how to deal with a lot of our inner stuff. You're just asked to pray. And sometimes that works and sometimes that doesn't. And when you go into contemplative prayer, even that is not really mainstream Christianity. Even though contemplative prayer is probably older than most things that we do in church, nonetheless it's not really mainstream at this time. So I think Buddhism is very skilled at helping us with the therapeutic. It is also very skilled in helping us to move from the inner to the outer in terms of action and uh, in the world, uh, in terms of developing compassion, in terms of developing equanimity. Specific practices attached to each of those qualities of being that we can develop. And then when it comes to the supernatural, Buddhism actually doesn't really talk much about it. I mean, you have some teachers like Thich Nhat Tan and others who even occasionally venture into using the word God. But a lot of Buddhism actually doesn't really talk about the supernatural. In Buddhism, you just kind of touch that reality without necessarily talking about it, which means that there are less dangers of projection or being caught in some kind of a dogmatic system, you know, your theology versus my theology and etc. What I appreciate in Buddhism and living in, an, in this kind of a Buddhist Christian household, what I really appreciate about that is simple but very profound practices that do not talk much about God or any other world but this. But yet when we engage in them, my experience of those practices is for example, loving-kindness meditation. Uh, you don't talk about God. So a Christian, when, when a Christian approaches loving-kindness, we think, are we just like sending our loving thoughts to someone? My experience of that practice is if you really enter it, you find yourself being in God, dispensing blessings from the heart of God. Even though none of that is mentioned, but that's my experience. That's the gift of Buddhism. The gift of Christianity is this kind of an incarnational framework of a God who calls you by name, 
and who pronounces a blessing on you and calls you to a very specific task in this life. And enlightenment or holiness is not supposed to happen somewhere else, but here. God wants to descend into your very body. So your body and your being can be transformed. Then you can start touching the world and create transformation there. The two traditions actually are very complementary. Thich Nhat Tan talked about the Buddha and Christ meeting every day in his heart, in his practice. This has been a great blessing for me because Buddhism is just so good with simple, but not simplistic, very profound practices that help us immediately to touch that reality that I, as a Christian, would say, I'm touching God. Buddhists might be very uncomfortable with that language because God is just a word. But I think that the two beautifully complement each other, at least how I am experiencing it. And I come at it from a Christian perspective.